In this lecture, we're going to take a look at a relatively new function to Microsoft Excel. It's available in the Microsoft 365 subscription plan. So unfortunately, if you're on an earlier version, you will not have access to this function. Now, this function we're going to take a look at is called group by. This function allows you to take a list, something like I have open right here. Here we go. Uh, I've got book title, book ID, title, author, genre, price, copy sold. It's going to allow me to summarize this list. It's going to ask me a couple of questions, so the function arguments. It's going to want to know, how do you want to group this? And they call it a, a row value. So here I'll say, I want to group this by genre, right? Give me a group for fiction. Give me a group for romance, for historical, for fantasy, right? Label out those five or six different genres that we have there. Then, it, then it's going to want to know, what do you want to summarize within those rows, within those groups? Well, in my case, I want to get a sum of copies sold for each genre, okay? Now, this is a function. Typically, when you think of summarizing a list like this, your mind might go to a pivot table. And I love pivot tables. It's one of my favorite features inside of Microsoft Excel. But this function, group by, is going to do it for you. One function. Watch this. All right. So I'm going to jump into cell I4, and I'm going to bring in group by. All right. Once I've got the open parentheses there, I'll hit the FX button to open up the argument window. So the first thing it wants to know is my row fields. It wants to know how do you want to group this data? So within my lists, I'm going to grab the genre column. So I'll do, what is that, E4 down to E53. All right, again, we got fiction, historical, romance, adventure, and so on. The values... This is going to be the column that you now want to summarize within those rows, within those groups. So here, I want to summarize the copy sold. So for values, I'll grab G4 to G53. The next argument we got there is the function. It's asking us which function, and this has got to be an aggregating type function, do you want to apply to the values within those rows or those groups. So here, I just want to get a sum. So I'm literally just going to type the word sum. Excel knows what that means. It knows it has a sum function. It knows what to do with that. Other aggregating functions would be things like average, min, max, count, those types of functions. So that's all I'm going to do for right now. You do have two other options in there. They are optional. You got your field headers and your total depth, which deals with things like adding subtotals or grand totals. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there's our summary. <laughs> so cool. So cool. One function. One function. Take the list, summarize it through some grouping, some row field, and then summarize a value within those rows. This is the group by. So I see adventure, we sold a total of 450. Dystopian, we sold 1,310. Epic was uh, 1,120, and so on, right? Super quick. And because it's a function, if something changes inside of the original list, your formula will update. So as an example, let's say the Great Gatsby uh, it's currently at 500 sold. Let's bump that up. Let's see, that's underneath fiction, right? So we got 14,810. I'm going to bump it up to 5,000, just a big number so we can see the difference here. One, two, three. I'll hit my enter key, keep an eye on that value right there. 19,310, like that. All utilizing the group by function to summarize a list. Again, very similar to a pivot table but now it's done just through an Excel function. Try it out.